What's so interesting to me about Infiltration is it was initially just supposed to be like a little trailer to promote the businessman finally coming out but I wanted the idea of it to be brand new footage almost like you know literally to set up the release of the feature film The Businessman but what ended up being like a little trailer ended up being this short film of its own I really must say that I really enjoyed making Infiltration because it was the first thing we'd seriously put together in about four or five years. Um, we went through a very bad patch of being lazy and things happening in the family and we just didn't get around to doing any filming. So Nicholas had this idea of doing a few short scenes as a prologue or introduction to the businessman and to tie up a, a few loose ends to connect with the other movies. Uh, it started off very simply with a few scenes outside with with Nicholas moving in the direction of the uh, lair of the vampires but as time went on it expanded and expanded got more of this and more of that and before we knew it, we sort of had a mini movie on our hands. And it w became really exciting to do another movie. And maybe it's not yet over. There might even be more to come. Go for half but as it's released at the moment, it's a direct You're on speakerphone. beginning I'm here with to the businessman, which I hope you've seen. We're going to guide you through the mission. What I find fascinating about Infiltration is it literally is a direct prequel to The Businessman. Uh, it literally shows Jack's infiltration, shall we say, to uh, the vampire base and how he gets captured and how he ends up in the situation that literally the beginning of the film sets up. This is Jack. It's great how, because we'd have been at the game for about four years, this was like our first proper step back into filming, like an actual production. So the fact that we shot it over like two days and then one, one additional day of reshoots was really good for us because it almost made me feel like I had shall we say my talent uh, trying to get that back in the groove and you know tippy toeing back into the filmmaking genre also uh, during this you'll get to know that this is the first of almost a three part trilogy uh, which starts off with an infiltration then it goes into the shape of things to come and the third part of the trilogy which is not filmed yet is the final report which is a very interesting concept and each of these three things fit around both movies but you'd have to watch them all to know how What I love about Infiltration is you, you get to see a version of Jack that we've never seen before. We've always seen is this businessman version of Jack, the young Jack, shall we say, whereas this little short film takes place after the whole events of the West Sussex incident. So we get to see Jack almost, I'm not going to say he's in his final form, but lit, lit more evolved than he was. He's not just a, sim a casual viewer of what is going on. He is now an active participant in the storyline. Jack? Jack! Seth. 
I think it's time. Must be heading off. Well, it's also really fun for me because you can see the expansion of Mr. Myers and how his character is progressing. Um, as the father in The Fear Inside, he was a concerned father, but it doesn't look to his history and how it's became here. But in the uh, infiltration, you get to understand that, that Mr. Myers is more than that. His history was as an ex-warrior, and he's much more tied up in this whole situation than you get to see in The Fear Inside. What I also love as well is, because we released The Shape of Fingers to Come, the secret of Mr. Myers being you or, or a retired warrior himself, um, we could now play around with that. So now this becomes a little epilogue for Mr. Myers' story as a warrior guiding Jack into this infiltration to hunt down this vampire that's been a uh, thorn in Mr. Myers' side for several years, shall we say, a certain Nathaniel, who you'll get to know later. What makes you tick? What drives you? Who do you fight for? Jack Harper. And you get to see the history of Mr. Myers and how he used to be the leader of Team Echo and his history with Nathaniel and the grudge they both hold against each other over time, which we'll see further into the story. So I really, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed Infiltration because it was really, really fun for us to make, getting back in the groove, and it was, yeah, for what it was, considering it was supposed to be just be a trailer to become this uh, short film, and throwing everything we've learned over the last 26, 27 years to make this little, like, eight minute short film that sets up our big feature film. I thought that was fantastic. So I really hope you enjoy Infiltration. And of course, I really hope you enjoy The Businessman because we've now got our feature film out and you can literally watch Infiltration and go straight from Infiltration into The Businessman. So thank you very much and I shall see you on the other side. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching Infiltration and I'm very excited about getting back into this universe, which is our own universe that we have invented. And I can't wait to see where it's going next. Thank you all for watching and goodbye for now. What the hell is in there? My job. What? I'll explain when I come out, I swear.